Hello everyone, Emp here bringing you a new RenPy tutorial. In this one I just want to talk about a neat little effect that I discovered while helping somebody out with something. It's really cool. Um, I'm gonna show you basically what it is first and then we're gonna go over the code for it. So it looks like this. If you notice, these things are moving independently of whether I do anything else here. Uh, it's spawning at the appropriate time every time I click, but it's it's also at the same time disappearing on its own and going and just going away. And so this is what I call the self disappearing notice or the automagical notice, and we do it like so. So here's my script first. I have available screens, notify one, two, and three. And this, you'll notice when I do this, there's only three that I allow on the screen at a time. So, okay. You can change that to be whatever you want. To be however many you want. And then I have a delay done thing here, which I'll talk about later. And then I basically, all I do is I call this allocate screen function with different parameters. And I have other stuff going on in the middle and so forth. So now let's get to the meat of it, the notice screens thing here. Allocate screen is I'm gonna take available screens and I'm gonna say global for that and delay done because I'm gonna be changing those. I'm going to create a new variable called allocated that equals false. And I'm going to say, I have not yet allocated a screen for you yet. While I have not allocated it, if my delay is done, which I'll talk about later, and I have some available screens, I'm going to take a screen, take the first screen out and show that screen with the notice text given. Then I'm going to say allocate equals true, so I get out of this loop, and delay done equals false. If I'm not able to allocate a screen, then I'm going to pause for 0.1 seconds. So that's how I do it here, and then basically I use a timer to hide the screen later and to add it back into the available screens list. So this is disappear right here. It takes the screen name and it hides the screen and then it adds to available screens the screen name again. So very simple. So here's my screens themselves. They're all exactly the same. I, so it seems a little bit wasteful but if you try to do this with the same screen over and over, it'll just overwrite it, and you'll only have one on the on the uh, game at once. So you need to have as many different screens as you want to be able to be on there at the same time. Or if you prefer, you can do it with different layers. But I find that this is easier, so that's why I did it that way. I have a style right here that I am using a background image in a frame and I'm doing some padding and I have inside my frame I have some text and then I have two timers. I have one timer that disappears after four seconds, okay. I have another timer that after half a second sets the delay done variable equal to true. So basically when we first show the screen, delay done just got set to false. So half a second later, it gets set to true, which means because we're saying if delay done here, so if half a second has passed, then we can make the next screen go. If half a second has not passed since we showed a screen, then we're not going to show it. And the reason I have this here is if I comment, the, if I delete this part right here, If I do it like that, then let's get rid of this old one.
then I can just click and it overwrites the uh, it sh hovers over the other one and you can't see what was on the original one so I I don't like that so that's why I put the uh, delay done in there so I made it be a half second because that's how long it takes for my transform to move the notice high enough so that it uh, does not interfere it so that it's not in the way for the next one now you obviously are going to tweak this for your own uses but um, the basic premise is the same you're going to start with wherever you want it to start an alpha 1.0 that means 100% um, opacity and then I'm going to linearly move it to the top of the screen in three seconds and linearly in one second have it disappear. So that makes a total of four seconds, which is exactly how many I say should happen before I actually hide the screen itself. And the reason why I'm hiding the screen instead of just letting it sit there invisibly is because we don't want to have to add extra processing to RenPy's load. And you know, I mean, it, it's for this, it's not really that big a deal, but what if we had something really complicated going on? So yeah, uh, and it, it's, it's not that much trouble to get rid of it. So that's actually it. I, I just, I think this is a really neat effect for being able to have notices like you achieved such and such and whatever, and that you can actually watch them go and you can let them go and you can click through in the meantime and do what, continue the game. So these are not tied to the actual dialogue going on. They start at a particular time in the dialogue, but they end on their own after four seconds, irregardless of whether you've moved on or not. So that's why I think it's really neat. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. I hope you find a, a way that you actually want to use it for. So, um, and. I want to see some creative uses of this self-disappearing notice, or the automagical notice, as I like to call it, too. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I, I'll see you next time.